This is Jason Reed Pratt, author of Cry of Justice. Have you ever wanted to be a learn how to do control? You can tell I'm already going to be doing this in a... <laughs> this is not a scripted uh, demonstration review here. Uh, I, I'm going to be testing out the recently released alpha, I guess, light alpha, of Plane Mechanics Simulator. I'm using the Steam version, not the one on GOG, although GOG currently has a slight discount. It's about $12 US, but the discount's more like 9 It has a nice, as you can tell, it has a, it has, it has music. The music starts actually around here, and I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. I, I don't know if there's a lot of music in the game. It's mainly, in my experience, it's only here in the opening screen. I'm going to start a new game. Yep, that's fine. Putting in Jason Reed Pratt. I'm going to include time limits uh, for the challenge later. You can you can toggle these on and off. Uh, you can also basically turn the uh, tutorial hints on and off. I think I'm not sure what expert mode does. Uh, I assume that was it. Here we go. May of 1940. I'm at the number one service flying training school in Nether Avon Airfield. Welcome to RAF Nether Avon. I don't know how to pronounce that. There's a lot of work to do, says our instructor, so let's get straight to it. You can see in your notebook that the pilot mentioned power variations in the engine. This looks like a problem with the fuel system. Let's start by opening the right engine cowling. And I can click here to get rid of that kind of, sort of. Yeah, get rid of that. Okay. So, those, those planes are very loud as they go by. There they are. I'll wait for them to go by. They aren't usually there. All the stuff you hear in the background, it, it goes, it, it tones down quite a bit once I'm out inside this point. Uh, we'll be starting, you'll be looking at a Tiger Moth, serial number B2030. We don't have a time limit on this. The pilot's name is Mark Whitman. He notes in the pilot's notes that about 15 minutes after takeoff, the engine started randomly losing power. Had to turn back and land. After fixing this, please refill the aircraft for the test flight tomorrow. Now, the game starts with a series of scripted missions that act as your tutorial and will allow you to uh, level up to being a first class mechanic instead of a second class. And I gather that at that point, you are then assigned to a career, you're assigned to a pilot for one of the three airplanes in the game, and you deal with his problems after he lands. And if you don't deal with them correctly, then you make it less likely that he's going to be able to get back alive. So in our current problem, we've got, uh, we've got to fix the problem with the engine power, find out what it is, careful here not to left click this until you're done, and refill the aircraft. So I hit escape to take that down. As you can see, I'm turning around here. This is uh, the way into the bunker. There's a set of uh, tunnels running around underneath here. You can't actually get in there right now, and I doubt that you ever will. Let's take a walk around the uh, repair bay here. As you can see, here's the field. This is as far as you can get out. There's an invisible wall here. I hear aircraft somewhere. Okay. I'm not going to be here long enough for the sun to move. I don't know that the sun does move. Uh, we may be looking at just a skybox, not at moving clouds. I don't remember if the last time I played, if the clouds had this configuration to them, though. I kind of feel like they didn't. This is not something, uh, once I've, uh... I hear an airplane coming in somewhere. Once I've saved this game, then I'll go back and, and look at the video and see a new game and see what it does. Okay, over here, this truck is where we get the, uh, we pl replace our broken spare parts at this truck. Um, and they just spawn back in. The truck doesn't go anywhere. Here's a jack. This jack can be jacked up and down. There's a secondary jack over here. I don't exactly know why it's called a jack when you can't make it go up and down. Look at these people flying combat air patrol. this up and move it around when you need to. This table is where the maintenance happens, like it says maintenance. What you do here is you will bring parts from the plane over here if you think you can repair them. 
uh, and attempt to repair them. If not, then you'll have to get them, uh, you'll have to requisition a new part over here. You will lose some points if you have a repairable part that you fail to repair, or if you choose not to repair it. Uh, I can hold down the left shift key to move faster. I can hold down the F key to focus. Yep. Well, it tap, uh, toggles F key. I can also... Well, I should be able to use the middle mouse wheel to zoom in and out, but that to, I have to be in a different mode to do that. This ladder can be moved. I can take that ladder and put it over here and climb up on top of the ladder to get down. Uh, I can also... Uh, holding down the uh, Z key, uh, tapping the Z key toggles me down to crawl. And once I get back far enough so I'm not bumping my head on the cowling, I can stand back up again. I think C is crouch. Yep, C toggles the crouch. All right. So we're looking at a moth. This is a scouting aircraft, I think. It is unarmed. We cannot take it out to fly it to make sure it's working properly after we do it. Let me uh, rotate the propeller just a little bit here. I'm holding down the space button to do this. As you can see, you can look right inside here. Uh, once I lock into a position, I can use the uh, WADS, I'm using the WADS keys to walk around. Once I lock into a position, I can use the WADS keys to move the camera around, and the mouse will rotate the, the uh, look like this. Okay. Here's where the, uh, there's the right engine cowling, we're about to get inside that. Which are, I'll tell you what, I'm going to move that a little bit further around so it's out of my way. Okay. Back. There we go. You can see there's an air intake pipe here. So it scoops up the air, it goes into the uh, air intake pipe. Okay. Let's remove the right engine cowling. There are different modes. I'm going to hold down, I'm going to tap the F button here, F1. And let the combatter choke it by. There are different kind of grades for the help menu. As I toggle, I'm not holding it down, I'm just tapping. This one gives you a quick overlook at what you can do with your actions, and the menu does change as you uh, go over areas. Currently, I'm in uh, disassembly mode, I think. I can also be in assembly mode or diagnostic mode. But effectively, that changes what your uh, mouse buttons can do. So I'm going to tap this to select that. If I hit this, then I can... I'm holding a... I tapped F1 to bring up more of the uh, keyboard commands. Okay. Now what I'm doing... Ah! Ah! This is not what I wanted... Exactly what I was expecting. What I'm, what I'm actually doing... This is not a... This might be just slightly a bug. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh... What I'm, what I'm doing is I'm 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 holding on I'm holding down the third mouse button. I'm going to try. Uh, all right, I, I right clicked twice, and that that put me back into uh, regular first person mode. So if you get stuck like that, then you can do that. Let's try it again. Okay, I have selected this, and I'm going to use my left click to do that going to undo these two pieces and that poops up. Yep. Now our instructor will communicate to us using this. Removing parts, you can rotate the camera with the movement keys. Scrolling the mouse wheel will move the camera closer and further. Pressing the middle mouse button will focus the camera on the cursor. You can also zoom by pressing F. To go back to movement controls, press the right mouse button. I think you may have to do that twice. I also think you have to uh, You may have to do uh, t left click t tips twice to get that. Oh, oh, it's a new tip. Okay. Let's find the damaged part. Switch to inspect mode number three. Okay. Now I'm using my uh, mouse wheel to zoom in here. You can see every piece in here actually has a part. Except maybe this thing. That's a strut of some kind. It's, but uh, here's the exhaust pipe. 
holding down the key to... What I'm doing here is I'm tapping the middle mouse button and it's, it's moving me around to focus on particular things. I'm going to go ahead and take uh, the hinge out here, Zoop. and that picks it, that pulls off the cowling. That's kind of in my inventory now. Okay. All right, now I'm going to switch to. Uh, I'm going to tap the button, kind of get into a position here, and I'm going to tap three. Now I'm in diagnostic mode. Check the status of a part, click on it, and hold it for about a second. Okay. So the instructor has given us a hint that it sounds like the pilot's problem is in the fuel system somewhere, so let's hold down this. That's fine. It's probably not the magnetos. These are ignition wires. It's, that's not part of the fuel system. Timing gears? Okay, I'm not sure if that's part of the fuel system. You can be super ignorant. It, it's okay. That's, that's part of the game, is to teach you to, to move around what, what parts of the things go with what. Uh, carburetor is part of the fuel system. Let's check that. Oh, that's the damage one. Uh, I knew that already. I've already played this mission. Now let's remove the car damaged carburetor. First plus one. Switch to disassembly mode, which is also the main mode. Now to remove the part, first you have to remove the air intake pipe. So you can see it's attached to it. So I'm clicking on that. Okay. Each uh, It has highlighted each of the bolts. I'm left clicking on them. They're going to undo one at a time, but look, they're undoing. See? I may zoom in on this in the video. And that's off in my inventory now. All right. There's a cylinder block assembly. Okay. And now I'm going to click on the carburetor and remove that. I can hold down the left key and do a circle around those nuts. It does take a little time to do. Some parts can be repaired on the spot, while others need to be replaced. Now I go to the workbench and press the spacebar. So I'm going to right click once, and I'm back in walking mode. If I need to get rid of the tip this way, I'm going to tap the escape button and try to, there we go, left click on those things. Uh, sounds like the air patrol is coming back around. They may be in training. I don't think we were in actual combat yet. Alright. Press the space bar to activate this table. What do we have in an inventory? We have the right engine cowling, an air intake pipe, and a carburetor. Okay. So, uh... Gonna get the carburetor. Try that again. There we go. The UI is just a little. I mean, the UI is programmed to do a particular thing, and I understand what I did wrong there. By repairing parts, you'll save time, and you'll save uh, points. All right. The yellow points, you can see the little diggly yellow points here, they're telling us uh, that there are areas here that have been locked down. We're going to try to use oil to repair them, uh, to work them and see if we can make them work. Something on here is sticking, basically. I'm going to left click on this, that brings the oil over. Now, when I tap my left button again, what's going to happen is that thing on the right is going to start uh, squishing oil down from the top to the bottom. I want to left click it again when it gets within the green. Let's see if I can do it. Well that failed. Okay, I have to hold down the left button. Okay. I forgot. Let's try that again. Ooh, we've got a much a much nicer thing here. I'm gonna hold down the left button and let it go when it gets in the green. Easy. This one's gonna be a lot trickier. Perfect. Uh, there's another sticking... really? That's that's what we're going to call a sticking part? Okay. Yeah! 
part restored. And if I'd managed to get all, all of the parts, all of the places oiled properly, it would have been restored to pristine condition. Now switch to the install mode and put the carburetor in the intake pipe back into the engine. Then close the cowling. If I had failed at that, I would have gone over here, pressed space to replace the broken parts, and I would have requisitioned a new carburetor. That would have cost me one point of experience in this particular game. Alright, we're going to go into uh, assembly mode is number two. Left click. To, uh, around here, holding down left click. Okay. The little ghost things here show you that you have inventory pieces you can put in. I'm going to put in the air intake pipe. Hold down left, go around. I didn't have to do, you don't have to do any of that, in fact, I don't think you actually can. All you're doing is is holding down the left key and, and the left uh, mouse button and moving your mouse in a circle to show which things you want to to uh, tighten, and then the game does that for you. Alright, and I'm going to left click on the engine cowling. Alright, I've got a pin I've got to put in, so I left click that. Zip! There it goes. It's in. And close it. With left click and then dog it down. Ta-da. Okay. Cool. Alright, now let's refuel the aircraft. Right click to back up. Need the ladder to access the fuel tank. Now, the uh, Tiger Moth, if I understand correctly, its fuel is in its upper wing. And if you look real close, I'm going to focus in with the F button, you can see that this is where the uh, fuel cap is. Now they say take the ladder to the front of the aircraft. Press space, pick that up. I'm not holding it down, I just tap the space. Uh, you can't let it, uh, if it's red, then you're intercepting part of the aircraft somewhere. As you can see, it's not, the ladder's not really there yet, you're ghosting. I'm going to try going at it from this angle and see if it's a little bit easier than what I did before. Space drops it down. I can uh, climb space to climb the ladder. Oh yeah, this is very good. Ah, whoops. <laughs> yeah, I'm um, uh, okay. I can look down, at least from this angle I can look down into the cockpits better. Yeah. Okay. Left clicking here, and I'm going to I would need to be in mode number one, which is disassembly. Fuel cap. I didn't have to hold that down, I just had to tap. Right click. I've got to climb the ladder, so I'm going to hold the space button again. And then go. All right, here we go. This is the fuel truck. Now, this thing over here is the oil pump. We don't have to do anything with the oil, but we do have to do something with the fuel pump. By the way, there's nobody in these trucks, but there's a there's ghost people in the trucks. <laughs> there's also, in this case, a uh, pinup model in the truck. And the same pinup model is in this truck, by the way. Okay, pick up fuel, the uh, hose. I'm going to press the space bar once. There we go. And the boom will come out. As you can see, I'm going to take it this way. I, this is why probably I was told that I need to go uh, in front of the in front of the plane. Now that I've done it, um, I may be about to fail this mission. I can't I can't go any further. Can I put it back? No. So, you can see that I have now failed this mission. Uh, uh, the, uh, I should be able to put this back. Okay, I did. I put it back up there. I hit space bar and put it back up. I had to put it, I had to aim right there to do that. But that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna go pick up the ladder. 
Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I cannot pick up the ladder. Oh, okay, take the ladder. There we go. Got it. What's the difference between picking it up and climbing it? Okay, if you have to, if you back up just a little bit, it's take the ladder. If you're right next to the ladder, it's climb the ladder. Got it? Okay. I didn't have that, so now we have to pick up the hose and climb. Press price to climb the ladder. Insert the hose. Alright, over here is the fuel cock. The Bowser controls. Press space. I'm going to come over here, and in this case, I'm holding down the left button and rotating it left and right. There wasn't much fuel cock. Right click to back up. Ladder. And the invisible guy drives off. Now, if you're like me, and I know I am, your incipient ODC will sit here and, and demand that you watch and see whether that truck is going to just pop out or something. I can tell you what happens is the truck drives down the path here and eventually takes a right onto another path and those revetments out there in the distance that are kind of camouflage looking, the truck will drive behind those immediately, eventually, and then disappear. So that's a nice touch. Now, I do have to remember to uh, put the, uh, go to assemble, that's number two. Tap the fuel cap, and automatically put that back on. And open the notebook on the task page and sign it in the mission. You can end the mission at any time provided you installed all the parts. Keep in mind though that not finishing tasks will have consequences, some of them severe. In other words, your pilot may fall down and die. Click here to complete it. Now you notice I've got a pen. And, and in fact you are... It doesn't matter what you sign. Uh, J-R-P. Perfect job. There we go. 55 points. That is the first mission in the game. If I continue the career. You can see that the second mission in the game, it involves uh, the command finally ordering that new sets of wheels for every aircraft and we're supposed to replace them and then refill the aircraft. Refilling the aircraft is you know, topping off the fuel is pretty standard on everything. So, I can exit here. Exit the system. Or exit to the main menu. Of course, you have to sign, but you can do anything. It doesn't really matter. This is just a nice color thing. So I hope you've enjoyed this first look at Plane Mechanic Simulator uh, that I'm setting up here for my groggy groghead buddies. Normally I have an outro here <laughs> of some sort, but we won't worry too much about that.